so hey everyone today we are going to have a look about this uh, ground explosion something like that some rock or something is coming out of the ground so let's see okay so today we are going to create this today so for that we have to make a simple setup so for that animation i am using maxiamo and i'm using wizard one and using the character you can use your own character or something so the animation is something like this so i had already imported the animation and so here we have the animation right now and now i have just created two simple box or you can just hide one now i'm just creating a simple box over here so that this ground is going to explode or something like this. This ground is going to explode from now. So for that, what I have to do is I have to animate the whole crystal thing. You can download it or anywhere, or you can have the file. Which is, link is in description. So now let's get started. So first of all, I need to animate this. For that, just click on both, or you can group them. Just let it. So let's. So let's check the animation. Uh, where should the animation be happen? So for that, just drag it, and I guess at uh, this moment, I guess at forty-three, I believe forty-three. We start put it down. So this. this get a bit a down something like this hit the auto key first just right click over here you will find the create key option just simple hit this and just sorry c 47 i guess let's take it to 49 just put it up so what we have is this simple animation now what i have to do what we have to do is to just simple right click go in the curve editor and just open this just go in z position this point just select this and make it this at this point just a bit something like this Similar to be happening over here also. Drag it, zoom it. See. Here we have the animation. Now, what I have to do is <coughs> auto key, just hit it over here and just slide turn so that like not that much I believe just down thing just make it like this just That's fine. Now what I have to do is to I have to create a fracture over here for that. Just take a tight flow and now start. So just go in the first of beast over here or get go in the clay mode and now just open the editor. So first I need to select the ground as a type flow uh, birth object so for that just drag a birth, oh, birth object and now pick the ground that's good and just uh, hide this one this one Four. 
So here we have box over here now. Then add a physics except for the solid property. So if I do that, it's bit like you will see a bit of movement of the box. So to stop it, I will use a particle switch. So for that, just search physics x switch. So now we I use physics X switch, not particle switch. So just drag it down and just change it to kinematics. And now you will see that nothing is happening over here. Fine. And now I need a Voronoi fracture. So just tab Voronoi fracture. Just drag it a bit down. Change the points to just put it this point. Just change is 200 and I have to do a bit changes for the fractures so for that just go over here and just 0.7 for this so that our crystal will be going to pop over this area at this area so now just changes to sphere Believe it's put it down. Okay, not fine. That's okay. Huh, that's fine. Now what I have is this. So now what I have to do is I have to create this as a colliding object and give physics to these particles. So for that just get back to default settings so you can just see the changes of colors. So now just for that I need a surface test. So for that just Type surface test. Oh, sorry. Uh, surface test. And now pick both of them. You will see nothing is happening. So for to see the changes, what you have to do is you have to create a another display. So just take another display screen. So just connect it. And you will see there is something interaction is happening. So over here we have to do a bit changes. So first in surface test, just keep it in distance and just go the variation value to 15 and it's fine. Now, now I need another physics x shape. So let's see if I just drag, nothing is happening as it's only providing this thing gravity. So for that, just I'm using another physics x collision. Just pick that. See, it's not hitting it. It's good. And for this, I believe what we have to do is this point. Just put it this much. That's fine. So what we have is this. Now we need to create more fracture in that. So for that. I'm using another Voronoi fracture. Just hit it, tab, and just type 
or my fracture. Let's change to 10, that's fine. But the particles are going to move far. So for that, to control that, I need a slow Let's change this value to around 20 and also I need a gravity so for that I'm using a force just over there and just around minus 4 that's fine so now see well <clears throat> so for that now I have to uh, fragment these extra particle more a bit so just uh, decrease this a bit around five or something ah, that's fine and now I need another property test so for that just add a property test just drag it down and what I have to do is I have to just uh, uh, collect these input again so for that just simply right click copy and paste change the color to a bit red or something now just delete the property test gravity will be remain same and just connect this and Voronoi fracture just go over here and click 50 around so it's <coughs> breaking at the initial point but I don't need to this to break at the starting point so for that I have to change do a bit changes over here so for that just go in the zero frame and just change the value over here so for that I will just simply change this type test type to velocity magnitude and over here just get to get greater and this value will be 25 so just you will when you just drag this you will see it's working like this So there we go. And now I had created a box just surrounding it. So there we go. <coughs> and to cap this hole, what you need to do is if you select the this box, just drag it a bit down. Around and just hide this one. Now go to the clay mode and just let's have a look what we had created. A bit, a bit distance or a bit low camera angle. Something at this point will be fine. And now Typhlo had just introduced a new tool or new preview thing preview option over here so for that just to go on tool and just click on preview grab uh, viewport and just you can see over here create type preview just hit it and now you can change the quality of your render thing and all so i'm just putting it like 150 around and uh, just put it to clay or something and default lighting because i don't use any light so let's put it on default so now what you have to do after setting your things and all so just hit on create preview and you will see the it's going on so let's see
So if you, have, if you like the tutorial, just hit like. And if you are new to the channel, just hit subscribe. If you like these type of stuff, and because many more things were on its way to be released soon. So stay tuned. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next tutorial.